Hi everybody, my name's Elle and welcome to Baldur's Gate 3! I have not played any of the previous Baldur's Gate games, but I'm really excited for this one. Especially since I just recently got into D&D, this is going to be a lot of fun, so let's roll our character. Doesn't look good. That's gross. Oh. But no, 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 no. Oh, that's gross. Oh, that's gross. Well, that's one way to start. Um, I have something in my eyeball, but let's start with our origin story. We're going to completely make this custom and we're going to roll for race first. We're going to roll a D12. Let's see what we get. All right, we got an eight. Let's see what an eight is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I'm a halfling! Oh, I'm so cute! Oh my goodness, let's go! Oh, I'm a cute little halfling. What all kind of race features do I get with this? Uh, I can't move very far. Uh, but I'm lucky. I can never roll a nat one. That's nice. And I'm brave! Yoo-hoo-hoo! Look at that! Alright, let's roll for our sub race. Alright, I rolled a three. So evens were Lightfoot, odds were Strongheart. Oh, I'm so freaking cute! Strongheart Halfling. Legend has it the Dwarven Blood gave Stronghearts their hardiness. Resists the poison and wellspring of endurance, these halflings easily hold their own. Look at that! Hey, it's harder to poison me. Let's go. Alright, let's roll for our class. Alrighty, I rolled an eight. So we're gonna be going with a paladin. Oh, she's so cute! You know, I've never actually played a Let me take that back. I've played a paladin in a one-shot, and she was great. She was an oath of the booty paladin named Peachy, and I loved her. But I don't have a whole lot of experience with paladins other than that, so I'm really excited. Fueled by the oath you swore to uphold justice and righteousness, you are a beacon of hope in dark times. Nice. <laughs> All right, subclass. Let's go with that D4 again. All right, let's take that three we rolled earlier and go with the Oath of Vengeance. Oh, she's cute. You have set aside even your own purity to right wrongs and deliver justice to those who have committed the most grievous sins. Do I get to choose the grievous sin? Let's go. Inquisitor's Might, you are an ally's weapon attack, steal an additional two radiant damage and can daze enemies for one turn. Oath of Vengeance Tenants. Oath of Vengeance Paladins abide by the following tenets. Fight the greater evil. Exerting your wisdom, identify the higher morality in any given instance and fight for it. No mercy for the wicked. Chasten those who dole out their villainy by wiping their blight from the world forever. 
Oh, okay. Let's go. All right, background. Let's roll for it. All righty. I rolled a seven, so let's go with criminal. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm a criminal paladin oath of vengeance. Oh, I love this. You have a history of breaking the law and survive by leveraging less than legal connections. Profiting from criminal enterprises will lead to greater opportunities in the future. Well, all right, I like. And of course, you know, we gotta roll for our ability scores. So let's go. All right, so the first one I rolled was a 13. Let's put that in strength. Second one I rolled was a 10. Kind of want that to be dexterity, possibly. And we got a 13. Let's go. Which one is better, intelligence or wisdom? Uh, I'm going to go with intelligence for this one. Next one is a 14. I am a charisma caster. Next up is a nine. We're going to dump that into intelligence. And then last but not least, I got a 12. But I have some ability points left over. So let's go ahead and add these leftover ability points where I can. Uh, I believe I would like to add some to dexterity. And then I would like to add... Some to strength, some to charisma. I don't want a negative modifier if I can help it. And let's make this an even, no, I can't make that an even number. Uh, let's make our dexterity an odd number then. Let's go, oh, is she cute? But of course, you know, I've gotta go edit her appearance, so I will be right back. Okay, so we now have our character created. And isn't she so stinking cute? I love her. But there is some surprises in the character creation that took my breath away for a little bit. You can... Yeah, yeah, it, it's enough to make you blush a little bit. But here's our strong heart huffling paladin. Isn't she cute? I'm really excited. Uh, yeah, let's go with Tav as her character name. Let's go. Oh, I get to choose a guardian? I didn't roll for this. I'm just gonna make somebody hot. Hold on a minute. I think drow are so hot though. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go with a drow. Oh my God, isn't she pretty? Oh my God, this is cool. All right, I'm gonna give her some freckles cause freckles are super cute. Oh, isn't she pretty? Oh, you can have all kinds of like markings. Oh, what's hot? You know I gotta make a hot guardian. That's hot, okay. Ooh, your eyeballs are red. Let's make them a little redder, ooh. Or do we wanna make them bright pink? Or do we wanna make them white? Oh, that's hot, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, I could give you a glossy lip, let's go. Oh my goodness, I am in love with her already. I love her hair. I don't wanna change any of that. No beard, we're going no beard and let's go. Hi, I'm back with you, I guess. Hello. What are you doing? That's kind of gross. Where are you going? Hello. You got a long way to go, my friend.
Oh. Oh my. You can be a dragon rider? I want to do that. Ew! Oh, the baby. I want one. Hey, don't burn me. a dragon. It's my little halfling. Oh, I think the game glitched. <laughs> my head. Let's go. So I'm really excited to see what my little halfling paladin is going to get into during our adventures during Baldur's Gate 3. So if this is the kind of content you enjoy, please press that like button, subscribe, ring that bell, that way you get notified when the next video comes out. As always, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!